Good morning, and welcome back, Colfax. I'm Trent Detmer, ringing in 2017 with the new season of CTV. And I'm Jesse Reynolds. All of us at CTV are excited to bring you the first news episode of the 2017 school year. That being said, CTV aims to provide the best coverage on and off campus. We've been working hard to bring you our first news show and will continue to do so throughout the rest of the 2016-2017 school year. Exactly, Trent. We will bring you the very best of Colfax High School, ranging from sports to academics to interesting characters to everything that's going on in the community around us. Speaking about what's around us, Jess and I are sitting in our brand new CTV studio where we'll be giving you new shows every Friday. Our teacher, Mr. Wolf, along with PUHSD staff members Steve Russo, Aaron Lang, Dustin Schroeder, Scott Stahlhecker, Bryce Berry, Jim Jordan, Brad Newhouser, and of course our very own Robert Cologne, worked all summer and during our fall term to create the Media Hub CTV Calls Home. We would like to give them all a big thank you for their hard work in making this possible. In our first story today, Jake Smothers and I decided to dig deep into the reasons and benefits that stand behind the Media Hub. Over the summer, Colfax High School staff and students have been working together to build our new Media Hub for students to collaborate and make their work shine. However, it wasn't always lights, camera, action. So we have these developing programs. Uh, we had quality curriculum. We just needed to find a way to put all our technology, our teachers, and curriculum in alignment so that we could offer the best curriculum for our students. So uh, we wrote the plan to take over um, what is now the Media Hub, um, which was um, four classrooms that were all undersized. So they were not one, not any one of them was big enough, you know, as far as what the district and state would like for a classroom. Um, to have a class in it. So we took those over, we moved the lab in, we created a, um, a drop-in collaboration lab and a television photography studio all in one space and all of those teachers now teach in that space and the collaboration is really starting to happen. Teachers of Colfax High School are thrilled to be able to teach in an environment like the new Media Hub. If we're all sharing the same space, we're sharing the same training, sharing the same ideals, practices, things like that, and students can um, gain experience in various departments and use what they know in what they've learned in journalism, to use in broadcasting, et cetera. Um, so it's kind of like a, a media community where we can all build off each other and go even higher than we already are. It's building our community and we get a lot of chances to learn about the different equipment that we get to use and it really has brought us together compared to last year when we had a smaller space. It was, we were also a little bit more spread out though so now it's kind of like we're all together and I think it's just really awesome for the program. Reporting for CTV, I'm Jake Smothers with photographer Trent Detmer signing off. Once again, thank you to all the CHS staff and the PUHSD staff that have made the development of this Media Hub possible. After a brief commercial, we are going to send it live to our sports desk that is currently under construction for Sports Wrap. Tonight, January 27th, we have our retro night game and dance. We sat in with your ASB president, Christian Shelley, on how he and his team prepared, what his favorite nest chant is, and his best retro dance move. My favorite cheer, I'll just have to keep it basic, you know, we are Colfax, that's always a good one. My favorite retro dance move would have to be the sprinkler. <laughs> <laughs> the game tips off at 7 as the girls varsity takes on crosstown rival Bear River. Halftime will be nothing short of awesome as we salute Mr. O'Connell as a retro night honoree and the students shoot it out for prizes in the halftime game put together by leadership. Prize is basically just a bouncy ball. It's a big one. One of those ones with the... the yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a kangaroo thing. Uh -huh. Wear all the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s gears you can. The dance will begin following the final buzzer of the game and will end at 10 p.m. in Gym C. Dance tickets are $5 with ASB and 10 without. Tickets will be sold today at lunch and tonight at the door. Again, tip-off is at 7 and the dance starts right after. Again, tip-off is at 7 and the dance starts right after. Can't wait to see you right here, Colfax. Welcome back, Colfax, to our second season of CTV Sports. I'm John and Caleb, my new co-host, Max Wolf. My good friend John Hill has moved to executive producer. Congratulations, John. We will miss you. It's a new year. Set as you can see behind me. Also, in honor of Retro Night, John and I are going old school. Straight 90s, baby. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves and take a look back at 2016. We'll get off to a running start with cross country. The 2016 cross country team propelled seven runners to sections and one to state. The single runner to compete at the state level was Annika Steele, who also placed top five during sections. Next up is football. That's right, John. The football team ended the season with a record of 
nine and four and made it to the section championship game against Capital Christian. Now let's talk some girls golf, John. Good idea, Max. This year's girls golf team went four and four, with two golfers making all lead. Jordan Rucker made divisional class and was like seventh in the section. Sounds like they really drove a wedge between them and the competition, huh, John? That's right, Max. Now let's finish up our 2016 recap with volleyball. This year's varsity volleyball team closed this season with an overall record of 14-11 and a league record of 6-4 and, and even made the playoffs. Well, John, it's that time of the week that we preview some of our upcoming sports seasons. Today we're going to take a look at our 2017 baseball team with a quick preview from Elijah Key. Hi, I'm Elijah Key with CTV and we're going to talk baseball. What's happening and what has already happened? Well, for one, they've gained a new coach and they put in a lot of work on the field. The team hopes for a very successful season this year, considering all the work they have put in. But enough with that, let's go back to John and Max in the studio. I'm Elijah Key with videographer Alec Maynard, signing off. Baseball is shaping up to be a big hit this year, and we are lucky enough to have Elijah Key in the studio with us today. Elijah, you seem very ecstatic about the upcoming season. What are you most excited for? Well, I'm just really excited to get back on the field. And how do you think you guys will do this year? I think we have a really good chance of doing well. Well, that's all the time we have with Elijah today. We now take a look at one of our current sports with a story from Jake Smothers and Trent Edmer. Colfax High School's boys basketball has been given the opportunity to play head-to-head -head against Dixon at the Golden One Center. Back in March, the boys basketball head coach, Mr. O'Keefe, worked hard to get the team to play on the court. I just called and um, I talked to a super sweet lady. Her name's uh, Lisa down here with the Sacramento Kings and she was super accommodating and it's kind of historical because um, we're the first high school team to play in the new arena or, or in the new Golden One Center so I'm super proud of that and, and uh, it was really exciting for everybody to be here. Mr. O'Keefe's efforts paid off with the players excited to play on a professional level court. It's really exciting. Uh, it's, it's a really cool stadium and just a good experience. The Nest was also at the game, bringing positive attitude and team support. Both Eric and Dakota worked hard to find a way to bring the Nest down to the game. Well, um, we kind of started with, with the, the bus idea, and then we, we put together a package uh, where we got the shirt and the ticket and the bus ride down and back. And we wanted to get as many people as we could down, and we thought if they didn't have to worry about driving, it'd uh, be easier. Reporting for CTV with photographer Jake Smothers, I'm Trent Detmer. Thanks, Jake Trent. What an experience that must have been. Well, that's going to wrap up our show for today. I'm John Camp. I'm Max Wolf. And we'll, we'll see you next time, Colfax. Thank you, John and Max. Next week, experience the presidential inauguration from a student's first-hand account and learn about two students in Colfax's engineering and design program that are designing and producing their own snowboard. And of course, checking with all things sports with Max and John Sports Wrap. Signing off and wishing you a great day. I'm Trent Detmer. And I'm Jesse Reynolds. Thanks for watching, and you can now head over to the Retro Rally.